guys, welcome back to another video. My name is EB, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect um, a computer that only has a HDMI port to a uh, non-HDMI monitor. So as you can see here, this is um, my uh, older one of my older monitors, and as you can see here, it only has a DVI D, so that stands for DVI Digital, and then it has a D sub, which is VGA. So I'm going to be showing you how to um, connect this to a new uh new, newer laptop without a dv uh i cable so let's get started the things that you need to um make this um setup work so you're gonna need your monitor power cord slash power supply so newer monitors just have a power supply so like a little power brick in like the in the middle like the cable like a laptop and then you're gonna also need a um a hdmi cable which is this one um there you go so I'll just focus onto that sorry about that let me show you inside there you go HDMI to a DVI connection I'll have this in the description and this is a dual link I'll talk about that more in the next clip. And yeah, that's all you need. Um, or if you want also the sound setup, you also need some computer speakers and the power supply for that. And Or if you don't have computer speakers, you can um, use a little aux cable, link in the description for that, and a Bluetooth speaker, uh, link in the description for that. And I'm pretty sure I forgot to say that in the video. So this is like an after recording that's going to go into the video. So uh, yeah, good. Uh, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so as you can see here, um, the monitor only has um, the DVI and the VGA, which is right there. And then it only has the power, which is just a normal computer power cord. I'll link um, I'll link the power cord and uh, all the cables in this video in the link in the description. Okay, so um, now I'm going to uh, show you what kind of cables you can use with this. So, um, there you go, VGA, right? VGA. Oh, VGA, I'm pretty sure you've already seen that, 15 pins. So, um, I'd always say to go with the DVI because there's more of a variety and uh, there's a higher resolution. And uh, I think uh, DVI can go up to 1080p, while VGA you can hardly get 1080p out of that. So here's a DVI connection. There you go, there's a little sign, there's the inside. So this is a, a dual link cable, and um, the... Then you can also get a DVI uh, single link, which has like uh, six pins less in this connector. So um, I would always suggest to go with this one here, the dual link. And then obviously we also have a HDMI, which is the best op uh, option if you have this on your monitor. This will, this cable will usually come with them um, in your consoles. Um, so I'm gonna zoom out here. Um, there you go, so that's HDMI to HDMI, just a normal cable there. So, um, yeah, that's the cable. So, I'm going to, um, get this cable that I got. So this is a, focus here on the bed. Um, uh, this is a D, um, sorry, it's a HDMI. So HDMI cable. Go standard HDMI port there you go and to a DVI uh, dual link so I'll have this in the description below from Amazon and I'm gonna get you um, the 3 meter version like I have here this will be 9, um, nine pounds if you want to get it with free shipping without prime free shipping without prime so um, I'm gonna go back over to here to the monitor and we're gonna focus uh, onto those ports. Okay, so now, all uh, right. So we're gonna just take our DVI connection. Let me just spread this cable out here. Uh, so here's our DVI again. Dual link connection. All right. I'm pretty sure you can see the port there. No, not exactly. Uh, it's going to keep focus on there. So I'm going to plug this port into here. The cable. And we're going to do these um, thumb screws here. 
you tighten those in. You can also use a screwdriver on these, a flathead screwdriver. So I'm going to screw that into there. Sorry for the movement of the camera. I'll screw this cable tight. Like that, and now we have a HDMI on the end of this cable. As you can see, this is 3 meters long again, like I said. So yeah, that's just a normal connection. And then, we need to give the monitor, monitor power again. So for the power, I'm just using a standard plug. Zoom out here a little bit. Standard plug. Just to focus on here. That standard plug to... um. Normal computer power cord. Yeah. Alright, so I'll link one of these in the description. Mine is from Volex, but I'll just give you a, a cheaper alternative because I can't really find the Volex plugs right now, apparently. So I'm going to plug this cable into here. It always goes with this side up. Yeah, my brother's here. So I'm going to plug this in here, like so, mm -hmm. and I'm going to plug this in, like so. I'm going to lift the monitor up and I'll get this repositioned and I'll be back in a second. I've kind of get in se gotten set up here. So I have a Dell um, laptop to show you with. Uh, link in the description below to Amazon, uh, I mean, sorry, eBay for the monitors. These things are pretty cheap. They go for like 20 euros with like 30 euros. So 50 euros for one of these monitors, that's pretty good. You know, DVI and, H and uh, VGA. So I'm going to turn the laptop on. go and I will be back when it signs in so there we go all right so we'll turn on our monitor so we'll go to the monitor we'll zoom into the power button so now we're just going to flick it on so we'll just press that button and you can see there's a blue light and I'll say it's saying right now, as you can see, but we need DVI, even if, if we're connected through HDMI, the actual port on the, co on the monitor is DVI, so you need to set this to DVI. So we're just going to press one of these buttons, when it's in this menu then you have to compress any of the buttons, and then I'm going to go down, and I'm going to click on DVI, and check it, like that. It's going to say no DVI cable, like that, because I haven't plugged it in. So, I'll just take you with me. So, here's a computer. The only cable that's right in it, it right now is the charger. So, I'm going to take our HDMI cable, like this, and I'm going to take it on this side. Gonna, there you go. So, here's my HDMI. I'm going to just plug it into there, and it's going to go dee dee dee. Windows 7. I mean, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. There you go. Made that noise, and boom. We have that there, right near the same screens, right? So I'm going to put you back on the tripod. I'm going to show you some settings to make the display uh, look better, because it might look it might look very bad. Click on the settings button right here. I'm going to click that. It's, on, it's right on top of the power button. And you can also search here for display, like that, and just click on display settings. Or you can click on system, double click, sorry, and click on display. Okay, it might be like focus assist or whatever, just click on display. And you're gonna go down till you're at the scale and layout. And if things on your screen are like tiny, you can click on 125%, but I'm okay here. And the display resolution, I can set this up a notch, and it'll look better on this screen, and it'll look more degraded. On the laptop screen, so I'm gonna set that back because I don't like that. Keep changes, and um, in case you like you had your monitor on the side, like I could have my monitor like this. I could click here and I could click it on portrait, and this is like like that. So I'm gonna revert. Okay, and there's also a few more things that I want to tell you, and then we can end the video. So keep going down it's, it's going to bring us back up here and we're going to go to uh, multiple displays this is if you have a uh, well we already have a display connected so we can go to multiple display click on this and we, if we click on extend 
back on key changes or something completely different. On, on the layout here, you can see um, on the laptop, so here on the laptop, you can see that display number two. So to know what display it is, you click on identify here, and it'll tell you. So as you can see, that's one, and that's two, okay? So, and that's display number two. So I want display number two on this side of the screen because the laptop is here. So I'm going to put that more in the center like that. I'm going to click on apply. And now I can drag things between my displays. Okay. So I'm pretty sure you did not see that yet. So I'm going to zoom out. Okay, there we go. So now, if I just go up here to the minimize, uh, minimize, max, um, restore down and close buttons, I click on that like kind of top bar, and I can drag these between. So like that if I hold down the mouse, I can drag them. It's pretty smooth because this laptop is like quite good laptop. And I can also move my displays closer so that it looks like a more realistic move between the displays. Like that. Now we're going to talk about sound. So I'm going to play one of my videos. So that's to the computer speakers. I can turn the volume up here. But I'm going to show you how to use a little switching trick that I made so that you can switch. Like that. So that's coming through the, um, the laptop speakers. But maybe if you want like a more desktop ish um, setup, um, I'm going to have uh, these speakers as well linked down in the description. These are the Logitech's um, Z something. I can't remember exactly what they are really. Uh, Z150. So Z105. Uh, Z150. So I'm going to put these down here. And these give me external power so you can't use these like on USB or anything. These are proper computer speakers. Alright, so I'm going to just put that on there over there. I'm going to take the headphone jack and I'm going to take the camera as well. There's a headphone port right here. Uh, on this particular laptop, when I plug anything into it, it'll ask me what um, did you just plug it in? So it'll ask me here. And I'm going to click on speaker out. Okay, and Dell speaker out like the actual computer speakers okay um so headphones is like just normal headphones headset like with a microphone so like apple headphones then mic in is just the microphone and line in is just a microphone so line is like music basically so i'm gonna go with speaker out and i'm gonna click on okay like that and then um it knows the computer knows that i've just plugged in a um um what do you call it a uh, speaker system. So that's what you click for, like a uh, sound mixer or something like that. So I'm gonna take the power supply here from the speakers, and I'll be back in a second when this is set up. I've got the power. Can't really see the light. Well, the light. There's no light on the speakers yet. The power supply is into the plug, that end one there on the fourth socket. Yeah, like and just back on the tripod and I'm going to turn these on there you go you can see the little green light hopefully on the speakers yeah the little green light and I'm going to play the video which USB and that's coming through there okay so now if the audio is not coming through you can go over here to the Um, sound button here. So I'm gonna take my mouse and I'm gonna click on that sound button. And here, because it has that pop-up dialog, um, you would click on this text speaker slash headphones real tech audio. Click on that and then you'd select um, like whatever the options are named at. And if um, like if you want to set like the system sounds lower, you right-click the speaker icon and you click on open volume mixer okay so the second option on windows update 1903 and higher 
As you can see, everything is limited right now. So I could turn up my system sounds. Make that noise. Or I could turn, right, and I can turn down my Google Chrome. Or I can mute the whole Google Chrome. Okay, so yeah, that's um. All I want to show for this video, stay tuned for next video, which is going to be how to sh uh, set up an iPad to this setup as well. So, um, yeah, till then, see you guys next time. Goodbye.